getting to this point where there is a referendum highlights some real problems with, with, with what's happening in Europe right now, just that we're at this point. So even if they do decide to stay, it doesn't, immigration issues don't go away. The feeling of the 47% that maybe loses, the, the people that want to leave, they're still mad. They still want to leave. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't settle things, and it doesn't help Cameron if it's a close vote. That's absolutely right. I think that this demonstrates the intensity of the nationalistic, xenophobic, anti-immigration feeling that exists in the UK, other parts of Europe, because there are other groups in Europe that would like to do the same thing if and they here. could. And, and, and it, here, yeah. and a lot of the rhetoric that you hear in England, in the UK, in favor of leaving is very similar to the rhetoric you hear from Donald Trump and his supporters. Boris Johnson has Trump inward. hair. I mean, yes. they, they even, I mean, there's a lot of similarities. That yeah, guy Bar has the Boris same Boris Johnson group. and uh, same Nigel Farage, the head of the group. There's a group in Texas yeah. that's trying to do this now. Yeah. A Texan? Yeah. Did you see that? No, but I was thinking we already got a name no. for it. Oh, no, that's, it's real. A Texan. No, there's a group that's trying, that, that is now mm -hmm. almost modeling, yeah. modeled after but, the Brexit but, idea. But Austin would stay. They, I'm sure Austin would stay, Austin right? Would stay. Yeah, but, but maybe merge with UK, Cambridge, Massachusetts. They have a UKIP party, the National Front Party. There are numerous parties throughout Europe that want to leave the EU, that are anti-immigration, that are anti-globalization. The rhetoric in the UK is very similar to the rhetoric you hear among Trump and his supporters. Pull back from globalization, pull back from, in their case, Europe, pull back from any immigration policy at all, and turn inward. It's a turn inward away from globalization approach. You hear it in the UK, you hear it here. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.